What's up everybody? Jumbo Habari Yenu. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon Wabaraka. And once again guys, I am here yes. and I am not alone. Like you can see, I am here with a guest. You're going to be hearing some background noises by the way because we are somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to be showing you around um, the things that you're going to be doing. But before that, I have brought my guest here to give you a testimony. She has come all the way from Kenya, yes, and this is on the skilled worker visa jobs that I keep telling you about, guys, and she is here to tell us about her testimony. Do guys help me welcome one and the only Lydia? Hello, hi Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Welcome hi. to the UK. Thank you so much. Oh my god, how are you finding it? I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah, finally, it's here. Wow, welcome, Karibu so Sana. Karibu Sana. Okay, guys, before we speak to Lydia, if you are new here, you are very welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to hit the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will not miss out and you will be the first one to be notified. Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us your names and where you are from. Hello good people, my name is Lydia Jerry. I am from Kenya, a registered nurse and it's been a journey and um, it's good to be here, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible, that's all I can say, it is possible. <laughs> What more guys do you want to hear? It's possible she's come all the way from Kenya. Like she has said, she is a registered nurse and she's made it to come to the UK. If you're there and you've been thinking that these jobs are not available or it is not possible to get a job from Kenya and come to the UK, she is here to prove you wrong because she's made it. So, we, um, by the way, this girl, I left her in Kenya when she was a small girl. <laughs> <laughs> And now look at her. Oh, grown. <laughs> oh, grown. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be mothering her. She's my my daughter. Yeah, actually, she's almost the age of my kids, so I'm like a mother to her. And I'm really, really happy to have her here around. So, Lydia, I want you to tell these um, guys over here how the process is of making an application for skilled worker. Well, let's say a nursing job. What was the process for you? Okay, so first of all, I did my IELTS examination. After doing my IELTS, I did my CBT. From there, that's, those are the requirements that they need. Those two is a must have. Mm -hmm. You have to have them for you to come to the UK. Okay. So that's where I started from. Okay. After that, there are some registrations I did with the Nursing Council of Kenya. Uh -huh. The verification of my papers. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically that's all you need. After the, doing the IELTS, the CBT, you can verify your papers. Mm -hmm. Then now you can start the application through the website okay i used indeed so you you, you searched for the jobs in indeed, indeed. okay com. so indeed.com yeah. mm -hmm. guys mm -hmm. and when you were searching for the jobs did you have to target the employers that are 
giving the skilled uh, worker visa because indeed it's a big platform and sometimes you get jobs that are not for people who are outside the UK, they're only for people who are in the UK. Of I targeted those that were offering the skilled worker visa. Okay. It's, it wasn't easy. Yeah. I did 37 applications wow. and out of the 37 applications I only got one. Wow. <laughs> Do you hear guys, for, the, for those of you who are doing only one application and giving up, 37 applications and uh, only one responded out of all those so guys if you're really really willing to come you have to keep pushing and push and push until you get it and now you're here i know i'm here to be honest yeah. it's not been easy mm. uh the 37 applications i was just doing them just hoping that i was just praying god just let me get one yeah at some point i had lost hope Aww. i thought that uh, this is not working because Kenya is in amber list, so they were not recruiting, they were not using the um, third party agencies. The third party agencies. Yeah. So it's just my your own effort. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, is, is this going to go through? Yeah. But I kept on pushing, I kept on applying, yeah. hoping, and one, it, it was actually one evening when I got an email and mm -hmm. it was like, congratulations, you passed your, your, the, your, you've gone through your application yeah. and we'll be invited. For an interview. Ah, so let me ask you. So when you searched for the job on Indeed, of course you didn't target any particular employer. No, no, no. So it was just a random application, and this was the one that responded. Yes. And then after that, after they told you that they have selected you, how long did they take before they asked you for an interview or before you did an interview? Oh, it took me like two weeks. Okay. Just two weeks. Uh -huh. They uh, they selected me. Yeah. Then sent me an email uh -huh. for the interview uh -huh. which was like the, it was about between two it was in two weeks time okay yeah okay. i gave my interview yeah got a response actually the following day in the evening that i had passed my interview what? <laughs> it was that quick what? Yeah. you were thinking was it this easy and, and the way you had tried that is still an application <laughs> nearly giving up <laughs> And of course, now the interviews is on video like this, isn't it? It's, Everything is online. It's online. It's online. Yeah, it's online. Wow. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. And welcome again. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm so, so happy to see um, Lydia here in the UK. Um, and and, and I, re I remember her when she actually began her nursing career. I was in her life, maybe, oh, at the time. You are. You are. <laughs> when you went to nursing school back in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, and it pays off, it pays off. Um, guys, so if you're there and you're actually thinking about nursing, and um, you go get yourself a, a nursing course back in Kenya or back in your country where you're watching me from, and it will pay off in the end. All right, now you, you spoke about eyelets, mm -hmm. that the first thing you had to do was eyelets. Yeah. And a lot of people, especially those who are watching us from Kenya, they keep asking me, where can you do the eyelids? Where did you do the eyelids exams? Uh, I did my eyelids. I was coached by one of a, one very good tutor. His mm -hmm. name is Mr. Wasilwa. You can find him on Facebook. Okay. He's a very good one, by the way. Oh, okay. Mr. Mr. Wasilwa, Wasilwa Eyelids. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that link down here for you guys. Oh, yeah, very really good tutor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I, I practice. Okay. And then he booked the exam for me. Oh, he booked it for you? Yeah, he booked it for me. Uh -huh. And I did it. I actually did just one round, guys. Wow. He's a good one. Wow. So you've been recommended. We are going to leave the link down here. He's not paying me. I don't know him. With no, uh, no affiliations. But because it's been recommended, I'm going to leave his link. If you're in Kenya, go find this person and do your, your eyelet practice with him, guys. Yeah. All right. So now I want us to talk about now the, the visa process. Mm -hmm. So you've been selected. They've told you that um, congratulations, you've passed your interview. And now the next step is to get a visa. Is to get a visa. So what was the process of getting the visa then? Uh, for me to get the visa, there are some documents that they needed me to send to them, mm -hmm. uh, my employer. Mm -hmm. So I did send them my documents. Mm -hmm. And it did take long before now 
uh, they allowed me to start processing my own visa, which is not something hard. It's a link they send you, mm -hmm. then you just fill some uh, information, mm -hmm. then now they pay for your visa, which was actually out within just eight days. The employer, you mean, pays for your visa? Yes, my employer paid for my visa. So you see, guys, visa paid for. Hmm. And it's about to get better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to continue listening to this story, please don't go anywhere. Stay with us and we'll come back and tell you exactly what Lydia did to come to the UK.